you're gonna be seeing me get this look. This is the look for today, and in this video, you're gonna be seeing me put this face on, so. guys my name is vibe and welcome to my corner of the internet in this youtube video you're going to be experiencing my news tutorials which are usually just me coming up with you know news and information that i read over this past week so it's kind of like an aggregation of all the articles and news that i've consumed this week and what i think is really important and what i think you should know so stay tuned to watch the full video thank you so much for even clicking on this video in the first place um like and subscribe if you can and let's just get started with the video on june 21st the champlain towers south building in miami collapsed according to cnn the death toll at this point is 24 while 124 people are still unaccounted for structural engineering firm roboto Con Consultants, I can't pronounce it, released a survey in 2018 about the Surfside building that stated, and I quote, the failure of waterproofing is causing major structural damage to the concrete slab below these areas. Failure to replace the waterproofing in the near future will cause the concrete will cause the extent of the concrete deterioration to expand exponentially. There's no confirmation that the deteriorating concrete led to the collapse. The families right now are coming forward to file lawsuits against the Champlain Towers um, Condo Association. Susanna Alvarez, who actually lived on the 10th floor, survived the collapse and she actually has an interview with NPR, which I will link in the description box below. The Delta variant, also known as B1, B1-6172, is spreading fast. The first confirmed case was actually found in India back in February. But do, the, the, the reason why everybody's so concerned right now is because it's four times more transmissible than any other variant out there. So we out here trying to have a hot girl summer, but you know... Miss Rona's out here with us too. So it's on track to being the dominant strain in the United States in the next coming weeks. It's been stated by many of the scientists and government officials that this variant will greatly impact those who are not vaccinated. 47.1% 47, 47.1% of the United States uh, population is vaccinated at this point. And um, the vaccine doesn't necessarily make you immune to the virus, but it does provide a heavy layer of protection. So that's why they're urging people to really, you know, get the vaccine, especially with this weekend being 4th of July weekend, they're really concerned of a new wave of infections in New York. The New York Times reported that the Pennsylvania Supreme Court overturned Bill Cosby's 2018 conviction for sexual assault. Bill Cosby was released from jail this week after serving only three of the 10 year sentence. In, 20, in 2006, Amanda Constant, a former mentee to Cosby, accused him of sexual assault. Constant filed a civil lawsuit against Cosby after prosecutors said that they couldn't find sub substantial evidence to pursue an indictment criminally. So in that case, the former prosecutor actually made a deal with Cosby that if he testified in this civil suit, that he, it would not be used against him in criminal court. So according to a quote from the New York Times, in that testimony, Cosby actually acknowledged giving quaaludes to women that he was pursuing sex with. That testimony was actually something that played a really big role in the 2015 trial. That trial led to his conviction by new pro prosecutors who actually reopened the case. Not the prosecutors that were actually there and made the deal with him, but brand new prosecutors. So according to the courts, that should have never happened in the first place. And that's why his prison sentence and his ruling was overturned. I'm also going to be using the Milani, this Milani powder in medium deep. Right? It's actually hit the pan because I've been using it so much, but I'm going to use that to set the rest of my face because now my eyebrows are done. 
Um, I'm actually going to be doing some eye makeup before I do the rest of my face. So I'm using the Nude Mood from Colourpop. And I'm going to be using... Uh, I'm going to be using this color right here. As well as this color and this color. So those two in that corner. Okay? Track star Shakari Richardson has been suspended for one month after testing positive for cannabis. Richardson tweeted, I'm human after news broke all over social media. The insider reports that there are three different reasons why a drug would be banned from the Olympics. If it, one, violates the spirit of the sport, if it's perform performance enhancing, and if it poses a safety risk by impairing judgment and reflexes, although Rich Richardson faces penalties, she still might be eligible for the 4 by 100 meter relay. South African Olympic athlete Castor Samea was taken out of the 5,000 meter race due to testosterone restrictions. She is a cisgendered woman. She identifies as a woman. So due to testosterone restrictions, she was taken out of the 5,000 meter race in the Olympics. Okay, just, just wanna emphasize that. The AP reports, despite having won two Olympic gold medals and the three, and three, world, cha three world championship titles, Samaya constantly has been met with these restrictions throughout her entire 12 year Olympic career. The testosterone restrictions were actually implemented back in 2018, which were aimed at women athletes with different sex developments, DSDs as they called it. Um, according to the Associated Press, these rules were created so women athletes with higher average testosterone levels won't have an unfair advantage against those who don't. Now these restrictions have left the Olympic athlete Samaya with the choice of taking birth control in order to qualify for the 400 meter to one meter mile races like, to 400 meters to one mile races okay with that being said she refused that option um she launched three legal appeals against the rules she described them to be unfair and discriminatory samaya failed to appeal at the court of aberration sports and the swiss supreme court but now she's headed to appeal with the European Court of Human Rights. And for my foundation, I'm actually going to be using Screen Queen from Milani in 420. My eyeshadow makeup, whatever you want to call it, is done. So I'm doing my face now. The United States and Canada experienced record-breaking heat. According to NPR, the death toll in Oregon reached 97 while in Canada, British Columbia's chief coroner announced that there were 486 sudden and unexpected deaths, which is higher than the estimated 165 deaths in a normal five-day period. The AP mentioned, and I quote, "This week's heat wave was caused by meteorolog what was caused by what meteorologists describe as a dome of high pressure over the Northwest, worsened by human-caused climate change, which is making ex which is making such extreme weather events more likely, more and more intense. The Mexican state oil company called Pemex had one of its undersea gas pipelines burst in the middle of the Gulf Coast this week, according to Reuters. There were no injuries reported. The burst led to a fire, and that fire was about 150 yards from the drilling platform, okay? This fire took about over five hours, and Riders reports that the gas leaked around 5.15 a.m., and it was extinguished by 10.30 a.m. So that's all the stories that I have for you today. I think that were really important. Um, I'm going to leave all of the rest of the descriptions, um, the links to everything in the description box below. I'm going to finish this look off camera and come right back. So give me one moment. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the news and the information that was actually in this video. Um, 
all the sources in the articles that I read or things that I watched are all going to be in the description box below so you can link back and reread them for yourself. Um, but overall, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this look. I really like it. I'm going to like a little barbecue today because it is the 4th when I'm recording. So um, not necessarily celebrating the 4th. Actually, I'm going to a birthday party. I'm not even going to celebrate the 4th. But <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, this is the look for today. I really, I'm really feeling this. Look at that. Mm, bam bam i love it so yeah thank you again for watching like and subscribe leave comments of what you thought below and um i'll see you in the next video